Well, there's not many doors left on our advent calendar. This is December Days with me, Wayne Clark. It's the 20th of December, and you're very welcome to join us today. I'm from Trinity Baptist Church in Gorton, and each day in December Days, I've got a word for the day uh, linked to a thought and a little Bible passage that's giving us uh, just a boost as we go through this advent season and retelling the Old Testament and now the New Testament story of the coming of Messiah the Christ, Jesus, born into this world. Today's word is the word they don't like you to use on Strictly Come Dancing. It's the word journey. Mary and Joseph went on a journey. I I don't mean metaphorically an emotional journey, though they probably did that as well. I mean, they literally went on a journey. They were forced to travel from Nazareth in Galilee in the north to Bethlehem in Judea in the south. Let's read Luke chapter 2 from verse 4. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Luke tells us that Mary and Joseph had to travel from Bethlehem to Nazareth. We saw yesterday the reason for this. It was a command from the emperor in Rome that everyone had to be counted in a census. Luke describes Bethlehem as the town of David because it was a place where King David had been born a a thousand years or so before. But Bethlehem wasn't a grand place. It was actually, at this time, a forgotten backwater, only known in the time of Jesus as the place Jerusalem got its water supply from. It seems that Bethlehem was Joseph's family hometown. Some have speculated even that Joseph was born in Bethlehem and had moved north. Well, that could have been true because that's where the work was. We know the biggest building project in the country at the time was near Nazareth. So maybe Joseph had gone to live in the north just because there was work for people like him. We don't know. But it certainly sounds like he had family and quite possibly a family home in Bethlehem. The journey to Bethlehem was one that they both uh, would have been used to. Mary had been to see Elizabeth in her pregnancy not long before and she would have used a similar route as she was taking now. And for Joseph, well, it was going home. He would have been familiar with that. And both of them also would have taken this road on the way to Jerusalem. The journey was about 80 miles. It would have involved some difficult terrain and some dangers. So most likely they would have been in a larger group of travellers. It would have been very unusual for a couple to have travelled alone. They would have been on foot and may have had a donkey. Most likely the donkey would have simply carried their bags rather than carrying Mary. But to be honest, the Bible doesn't tell us about a little donkey carrying Mary or otherwise. Although uh, that might have been possible. You can imagine, though, on that journey, which would have taken them from the north through the wilderness into Jerusalem, where they may have visited the temple to pray and then into Bethlehem. For Mary and Joseph, leaving home meant leaving the security of a a household they'd just set up and going into the unknown, expecting a baby and not knowing what the future held. Well, they must have learned some lessons in trusting God on that journey. As you come towards the end of this year, what lessons in trusting God for the journey have you been learning? We're all, yes, I'll say it, metaphorically on a journey. What lessons for the, lear- for the journey have you been learning? This is December Days. See you again tomorrow.